Hi everybody, my name is Corian and today we're going to be taking a look at the newly refreshed 2022 Sabre 37 FLH. We'll start off the tour in the front of the 37 FLH. One thing I want to mention before we get into it is all the features that I'm going through are completely standard. Everything in the Sabre product line is standardized across the board so it makes it simple to know what you're getting. To start off with, the main attraction of the 37 FLH is this front living room area. You've got three sofas that makes it nice and easy to get a bunch of people up here, entertain, kick back, watch a movie. The TV is a smart TV now, so you can get on Hulu, Netflix, all that sort of stuff if you have a stable internet connection. You've got a fireplace down below, 5500 BTU, so it'll heat the entire space with electric heat. You have two 15K ACs that come standard, so if you're going down to Texas or Arizona, it'll keep up with the heat very well for you. Lots of windows letting in lots of natural light. The zebra shades that help you black out some of that light if you don't necessarily want as much coming in. Then you have nice accent lighting that runs the entire length of the coach, gives it a nice premium feel. And then also you have lots of USB ports all throughout the trailer to hook up your phones and devices. So directly below the front living room is your chef style kitchen. So in the center is this nice big island that you can put stuff on. It also has a big farm style sink in it, detachable faucet, a soap dispenser where you can put hand sanitizer down into there. All of the cabinetry is real plywood, so it's a little more forgiving to humidity and moisture. As well as that, you have a big 30 inch microwave, so big residential size. You have a nice three burner stove with an oven. So our new fridge is a large 16 cubic foot 12 volt fridge that's more power efficient than what we used in the past. On a five hour test, it drew about 3.6 amps per hour, so relatively power efficient considering the size of the fridge. And then when you open it up, it's nice, wide, deep, plenty of room to put things in here. And you also have two big freezer drawers down below to put your frozen goods. You've got a half bathroom here, so if you have guests sleeping up front, they don't have to go through the main living room, you can send them right in there. There's also a breakfast hutch here directly by the front living area. So you've got another pantry there, storage, a little space for crock pots or coffee makers, as well as a corner pantry, a full size pantry behind me. So there's a ton of storage in here, ton of countertop space and you also get the four person dinette in the slide out. Towards the rear of the camper is your master bedroom. So you've got a big king size bed slide, super tall ceilings back here, lots of storage built in here to the cabinetry. In the middle is blank. That's because there's an outside kitchen built into that center portion. And then at the rear of the coach is the master bathroom where you've got a his and hers sink, super tall shower, stackable washer dryer prep, lots of countertop space, and a lot of linen storage also, medicine cabinets. So up front of the trailer on the outside, first thing you're gonna notice is the auto leveling system. So we use a four point electric auto leveling system to stabilize and level the coach. Then you've also got a battery that comes included here, a part of our juice pack system. So it comes with a deep cycle battery from the factory, 50 watt solar panel up top, and a 30 amp charge controller inside. With that 30 amp charge controller, you can expand that 50 watt panel up to 500 watts. Then the last thing to notice up here is that Polar Bear sticker. That is a part of our Polar package. It's a completely enclosed underbelly with insulation. It's heated, thermofoil wrapped, as well as your front cap and your roof. Those are insulated and thermofoil wrapped as well. Moving along, you'll see the front storage compartment here. It's nice and wide. You can put some picnic tables, lawn chairs in there. You have cable connections, power connections as well. And then you'll see that there's an LED light in there that's illuminating everything. Then moving a little bit further along, you'll have the friction hinge door with a window in it. That's Lippert thin shade prepped if you wanna get a little extra light blocked out there. Then you've got your Moride stable steps. So these steps go up and in real easy, but they also have adjustable feet pegs with that clip there. You have pins underneath the threshold if you ever want to take the steps off. You just take those pins out, take the steps out. You have an LED light that's built in below. When that awning light turns on, this light turns on also to give you a little extra safety getting up and in at nighttime. Another great feature on all the Sabre product is the sidewalls are a true two inch thick and vacuum bonded wall, so good insulation and low chances of delamination. The slide boxes are also vacuum bonded on all four sides, the three walls and the roof. Then underneath the slide box, you're gonna have rack and pinion slide system. So that's a true through frame slide. And then down below, you have Goodyear tires on there now, 7,000 pound axles. So you don't have to really worry about overloading the weight on these. They all have very good cargo carrying capacities. You have valve stems on there that'll tell you if your tires are 80 PSI, green is good to go. If it drops below that, it'll turn yellow. Really low, it'll turn red. 
And then lastly, we'll move on to the outside kitchen. As you can see here, it's a nice sized kitchen. You have a little bit of storage built in. You've got a refrigerator out here. This one runs on 110. The one on the inside runs off a of 12 volt. So this one will not be able to run unless you're hooked up to shore power. And then you also have the sink built in. So a little bit of water access out here. Then down below, you're gonna have the grill prep for a low pressure gas grill. At the rear of the coach, you'll find our two inch hitch receiver that can hold 300 pounds of vertical weight. So firewood, small generator, bike rack works great with that. Then up top, you're gonna to have a Lippert backup camera that's already installed. That connects to your smartphone via the LCI One Control app, so you can get a visual feed on your smartphone of what's behind you. To wrap things up, on the off-door side of the coach here, you'll have your all-in-one docking station with a little shower head that's built into here if you wanna spray off the dogs, maybe kids if they get dirty. You've got your cable hookups in here, black tank flush, your winterizing system's all in one place, easy to get to. Then you've got a 10 gallon quick recovery water heater here. So every hour you're getting 10.1 gallons of hot water. That about wraps things up with the Sabre 37 FLH. If you'd like to know any more info or get more materials on this model or any of our other models, you can visit our website at forestriverinc.com slash Sabre.